Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I am in Colchester. I popped up to Colchester and um, I'm going to check out the B&M Home Bargains and I'm going to check out Smith's Toy Superstore. So I'm going to head over there now and I'm going to see if they've got any pops in stock for us today. Hopefully they have maybe an exclusive or a chase at Smith's. You never know. I've never been to these stores before so I don't know what they're like for pops. So I'll see you when we get over there guys to check it out. Right guys, I'm in Smith's Toy Store. They have a loot crate. They have a loot crate exclusive here. Widowmaker. That's a loot crate exclusive. These are all 4.99. We've got Finn, Agent 13. Have that one. Finn, Finn. They've got a war machine there. I might pick that up. Not sure. We've got a Scarlet Witch. They've got a Scarlet Witch back there. Sorry if the film is a bit off him on my phone. I've got here. We've got one of these um, monsters from Star Wars. Pretty much lots of the same stuff here, guys. Just pretty much the same thing over in Smiths. I don't know if this loot crate thing's any good, but Colchester's got loads of them. We've got this, I think this is from Funko, we've got a Q-Fig there of Doctor Strange, that's pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, we've got a lot of Funko stuff. But the one thing I've seen, which I'm definitely going to pick up, guys, is this here, this Giant Man Pop for $10.99. For $9.99, so I'm going to grab that today. That is a bargain, if any, for a tenner. I'm not leaving that here. That's the last one as well. They've got this cool Doctor Who set as well, if anyone's interested in Doctor Who figures. They've got some Batman stuff as well here. They've got a lot of DC Universe figures down there, if anyone's interested in any of those for, for a, a, quite a cheap price. This set's pretty good here. We've got some Star Wars bits here. We've got some Mystery Minis from Diamond Select. We've got Wong there. And we've got Mordo. So here we've got some mystery minis there, that, they're pretty cool. And then over here we've still got more Star Wars stuff, we've got some more Q-Figs. We've got a Harley Quinn and a Batman Q-Fig, so they're pretty cool. We've got a nice cool looking Deadpool Q-Figs there. I think these are 10 dollars but that's a cool one, these are X-Force costume, I like that, that's cool. And also here we have a four figure there from 4 Ragnarok. Got some decent Marvel stuff there. We've got the Harley Quinn and Joker 2 pack there. How much is that? Because I, I, I like that. I do like that a lot. That's pretty cool. I might ask how much that is. And then here, guys, we've got some wrestling figures. We've got John Cena for the Elite Wise. They look like they've been cleared out mostly here. Some Batistas. There's a Lana there. Mostly all Batista. And that is it, guys. That's all we seem to have here. We've got a giant Roman Reigns as well. But yeah, that's B&M for you. That's really good. So I'm going to pick that up and I might inquire about this.
One more quick dive and then around. Hey guys, I'm back from my trip to Colchester. It was just a quick pop into B and M and into um, Smith's Toy Superstore. That I just was going up there for a night, and right near my hotel was a B and M and a Smith's Toy Superstore. So I thought I have to go and check them out. Unfortunately, Smith's didn't have anything to offer me. They had some stuff there, that exclusive hand solo and stuff, as you can see in the video, but nothing I actually would like to purchase. But B and M had something for me, and as you probably know by the video, I managed to pick up this Giant Man pop for ten pounds from B and M, which is quite a a steal. I know they were selling this before because I saw it on their website but I just never found a B&M that had one in stock and today I've got my Giant Man 6 inch pop so I'm really pleased with that. So thanks for watching guys, it's just a quick short toy hunt, I thought I'd just show you something, I didn't expect it, didn't plan it, didn't know there wasn't even those stores up there. But uh, thanks for watching guys, smash that like button, let me know what you think of the pops that I saw and anything you would have picked up from B&M's or from Smith's. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, links in the description below. I have a Facebook competition running until next Wednesday, so make sure you um, like my Facebook page for your chance to win a Walking Dead pop. And um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel guys, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.